Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to use file dialog with your Qt GUI C++ application. Or more specifically, I should say Q file dialog. So what is a file dialog? For example, in your Windows operating system, when you go to this start button and when you open this computer, this dialog box, which shows you all the file system and you will be able to see all the list of files and folders this is called the file dialog this whole dialog box so i will show you how you can open this kind of a file dialog with the help of your qt gui application so let's get started i will i have a blank project made and here I will take a push button and this push button I will double click and change its name I will say open file name for example okay so I want to see the file name of whatever file I choose and now I will right click and I will click go to slot and I will select the first option which is clicked and I reach to this main window CPP file in here I will include some header file first first of all I will include include the Q file dialog which is this one Q file dialog and then I will go to this push button click event or push button click method. Here I will declare a Q string and I will name it as file name is equal to Q file dialog. and then I will write get open file name okay and then I will close this bracket and in here in this bracket as an argument I'm going to pass some arguments so first argument would be let me make it little bit clear so you can see it on one screen so this bracket I have closed here okay and the first argument would be this and comma second argument would be tr and this is the title of your file dialog so for example you can write open file and the third argument would be after comma is the default folder you want to open okay so it depends what is the, what default folder you want to open for example i want to open i will give double quotes and i want to open c colon slash slash this is my c directly which, which is my root folder in windows so by default whenever i open the file dialog it will by default open this folder which is my c folder okay and the fourth argument would be what kind of file you want to filter or you want to see in your file dialog so for example whenever you see any file dialog in here I cannot show but yeah in this program I will show you what I mean by that so in here the fourth argument would be just write double quotes and in here you can filter your files so for example you want to see all files so write all files and you give the bracket and you give no extensions so this star 
dot star means all files star means any file you want to open this is the prefix and this is suffix for example then for example if you want to filter text file so you give double semicolon two times one and two times semicolon and then say text file and once again give this bracket and then write star which means any of the text file dot txt so this is the extension which will you will be able to see so all text file when you choose this option you will be able to see and for example you want to open all music file for example so write music file and then in this bracket write star dot mp3 for example okay so this is the filters you have applied whenever you open the file dialog and now for example i want to show this uh, file name or file path in a message box so whatever file i selected i want to show it in a message box so i will first of all i need to import include a message box so i will write include q message box and in here i will write Q message box and this will be information so I will select information and in here I will pass my file names but first of all I have to give it this argument second argument will be TR the title of your message box so i will name it as file name and the third argument would be your file name itself okay so just write here file name now let's try to run our program so i will click this button just select the project which you want to run and click this run button save all the files and it's building my project hopefully I should not get any errors yes I don't have any errors and now my program is running so for example I click this open file name button from here and it opens the file dialog this is my file dialog this is the title of my file dialog which is open file which I have provided here you see here open file this is the title of my file dialog and by default it has opened the C directory which I have given here the default directory path which is C and now you have three type of filter here all files text files and mp3 files so this all files will show you all the files which is there in the folder for example you want to see the text file then it will only show the text files so it will show the text files and the mp3 files it will only show the mp3 files and there are no mp3 files in my folder right now now for example I select some file so I will go to my picture sample pictures and I will select some sample picture from here let me see where is the sample picture there is no sample picture in my computer so I will go here and yeah I, ha I haven't selected all file that that's why I was seeing no pictures now I come to know okay so now I should be able to see some 
pictures from here or here and okay so I can see the pictures when I select all files and when I select this uh, file it should show the path of the file in the message box so I select this and I click open and you see the path of that file wherever this file is located is in the message box so in this way you can use Q file dialog with your Qt GUI application I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now